Hello, I'm Cody with 3D Infotech, and today we will be taking a look at some of the different alignment methods available in PolyWorks. When PolyWorks users first learn alignments, they begin by using the best fit to reference object alignment. This alignment fits the data such that the average deviation of all the data points are minimized. However, there are plenty of times where certain areas of the part are more critical than others. In these cases, we can use some feature-based alignments to prioritize the fit to specific features. The first of these alignments is perpendicular planes. This alignment fits three planes on the scan to three planes of the user's choice. Note that the color map shows bright and dark green in these areas, the two colors closest to zero deviation from nominal in my color scale. The perpendicular planes alignment is great for parts with three planes that are considered critical. However, many parts lack such geometry. In that case, the plane axis center point alignment will accomplish the same type of alignment without the need for three planes. In this example, I use these two bolt holes, constructing a line between them and using circle one as my point feature. Both of these feature-based alignments use only the minimum number of features to secure all six degrees of freedom. But what if other features are equally as important? For example, what if we wish to include all the bolt holes on this top face? This is where the best fit measurement object alignment can be used. Using this alignment, many features can be considered and we can specify which axes to consider for each feature. Now that you know the differences between alignment types, you can choose which type is most appropriate for your application. Thank you for watching.